Hi, it's Susie the Dragonfly. This is going to be a hard one because I was compelled to do it. It's originally why I wanted to start this channel. Because when I started really looking at my life and looking at myself and quieting my mind and not anesthetizing myself with anything, all of a sudden, I'd be, sitting next to, I'd be sitting next to somebody in a bar or somewhere, and I would just know things. It was like someone was tapping on my shoulder saying, Hey, I have a message for that person that you don't know next to you. And I thought it was helping. And I started talking to them. And even happened, like, in a bathroom, someone would come up to me and act like they... I needed them, and I'm like, oh, I don't even know who you are. And then the voice would, like, in my mind would come. And what I want to say is, when I first started channeling people, this is hard. It's people that committed suicide. Every single time, and I've done, like, at least 30. I'm talking 30. Fucking times I'm next to somebody and there's someone tapping on my shoulder in my brain saying, you gotta give them a message. And the message is always the fucking thing. They did not realize when they needed a moment of reprieve and wanted to escape the misery or the pain they were going on in that moment that their choice would be a permanent solution to a temporary problem. They didn't really, they didn't have hope. Or they were fucked up and it was a mistake or something else, because I've seen that too. Sometimes it isn't suicide and people think it is. And I, yeah. But what they see after when they're trying to rest in peace is the misery of everyone else and the pain that they go through and the consequences of their I'm sorry I'm going to say it's selfish action especially if you have kids or a parent or anyone that has to live through somebody that they love dearly ending their life by choice they suffer more because they're not at peace, because they have to live with their loved ones in pain. This is not fucking fake, this is real, because I've done it with so many people, and I'm the messenger that has to say that their loved one that killed themselves, as they're whatever they're doing, I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> They can't take it back if they're falling. I'm not gonna say it. Whatever. <sighs> temporary solution. It's not a temporary solution. It's a permanent solution to a temporary problem, but they, in the moment, they made a split decision that every single time they regret. Every single time. I've read people like that, they go through me. I don't care if you think I'm fucking nuts, crazy, anything. I have a, I've been given a gift. I don't know if it's a gift or curse, whatever. It's a gift because it's a service. And I have people, souls find me to give that message to their loved ones. And it's fucking spot on. And they thank me because I tell them the message that they're sorry, whoever sorry because they didn't realize that it's it's not a permanent it's not a solution because they left a wrath of pain for their siblings their parents their children for the rest of their life and their children's children and they're in pain we're all in pain but you gotta go through your pain. And when you get to the other side, which there is another side, there's hope, there's light. You will be stronger. 
And you'll show everyone around you how fucking strong you are. Because you are. <laughs> and I've helped a lot of people be unstuck because everyone left in the aftermath. And the pain and the memories and the regret for what they didn't say or didn't do, even though they didn't do anything wrong. They get stuck in their life and it causes a lot of shit for their life and then their relationships and then their kids for generations and generations. So what I want to say is there's always fucking hope. There is always someone that can help you or give you an answer or just hold your hand while you're going through it. Hold your hand. I, this is really hard for me <laughs> because my son's best friend at 21 killed himself. <gasps> my kids went to school together with him. And it was, <gasps> I knew his mom. We hung out. He's at my house all the time. And, they video games for years. <gasps> but they get that call when your son tells you your best friend is best friend. I'll give myself or did whatever. <gasps> don't do that to someone. <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> Help, give help. If somebody in your life shows signs of anything, help them. <laughs> Suicide is not a fucking solution. It's a fucking nightmare for everybody. And it doesn't solve anything. It just creates a fucking series of pain for future generations. That's fucking selfish. <laughs> Get some balls. Go do the pain. Fucking deal with it. Get there. Be get out of home. Feel it. Don't fucking escape. Well, we all do that, but like the fucking miracle is when you don't run away from things. You face them fucking straight on, and you deal with it, and cry, and feel your feelings, and. Be your truth and exalt in it. Have faith. There's hope. There's, there's there's fucking something on the other side. I know there is. I know there is. There's no way I know what I know. I could channel people if there wasn't. When my dad died, I knew it. I know there is. And if you need help, get help. There's no problem that can't be solved ever. There's always hope. There's always hope. So, come into my There's always hope. There's always hope. I have hope. I have faith that you will think worth life is worth living. I've been in hell and back, and it's a fucking a miracle that I have a gift that I can help others not give up. 
Because you're worth everything. You're perfectly perfect just the way you are. Please. Don't do that to yourself or anyone. No life is garbage. No life is worth ending. And think about everybody else. Or the life you would have had. That you're not even giving to yourself. That's a miracle. Becoming stronger and living through shit. So when you have kids and you get married, you can help them get through shit. Anyway, well, that was I had to do this. I was told like I had doing like I had to. This was the original reason I wanted to start this channel, <laughs> and it's evolved that I. I don't actually get a lot of people suicide chatting anymore. It's like grandparents and animals. Though. But the point, well, it's a good thing. Because hopefully the message gets out that there's hope, there's light, there's everything on the other side. But the only way around is through. And it might be some pain. It might be tears. Oh, damn, there's an ocean out of my eyeballs. You know what? There's joy and there's love and there's looking in someone's eyes and seeing, looking in my kids' eyes, looking at them and watching their life develop and grow up for them to become men and hopefully get married, have kids, or whatever. Don't cut that short before the miracle happens. Don't do that to everyone around you who wants to see the miracle. Cause you're a miracle. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna get through. You're gonna be okay. Don't make a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Because it's all fucking small stuff. We're all the hot mess express. Choo choo! Get on the train. Ride it to your destination. And you might get to somewhere. I should just invest in tissues because I cry all the fucking time. Anyway, to anyone who's survived somebody that's passed, chose to end their life, it's not your fault. You did everything right. There was nothing you could have done to stop it. But if you're choosing to end your there is something you can do to stop it. And do it because you have no idea the aftermath. You have no idea the afterlife you will live. And the happiness and joy you could, you will experience. If you don't try. It's there. I've experienced it. I've been held back. And guess what? It gets better. And there's things I would have never known. Never learned. Never saw. Never been. There's a whole world out there. Go see it. Experience it. It's going to be okay. You'll get through it. And it'll be fucking awesome. Don't sweat the small stuff and it's all fucking small stuff. You can do it. I did it. You can do it. People do it every day. Gratitude. Hope. If nobody told you today, you're fucking worth it. I love you. I'm sorry whatever fucking happened in your life that was shitty because I get it. You're not shitty. You're not worth shit. You're fucking amazing. That was their fucking stupid shit that they projected onto you. I was like, go fuck yourself. I'm stronger than that. I'm a survivor. I survive. Because that's the strength that will make you invincible. To explore and be you and live a lot. Fucking happy life.
make sure this thing. You're worth living. Life is beautiful. Although it always isn't beautiful. It's beautiful to be alive. Go live your life. Experience it. It's like a roller goes up and down. But you know what? Did you ever ride a roller coaster? It's fucking fun! It's exciting. It's good. I'm gonna go get off the roller coaster. Because it's. I don't even know. I give you a ticket. Here it is. Ride that roller coaster. Because when you're up. Dying. No doubt is low enough to end it. Not now. I don't care what you think. Trust me. Every saint's a sinner, every sinner's a saint. Nobody's perfect. How do we learn from our mistakes? Don't keep making them. That's the ultimate mistake. It's the ultimate stupid fucking idea in the history of stupid ideas to end your life. But anyway, I believe in you. And if no one even told you today or you haven't heard in a really long fucking time, I appreciate you. I love you. Because you exist and you are and we're all energy and you're my brother, sister, mother, father stepsister, dog I don't care you're important and valuable and you have a life force that needs to be lived and celebrated and you need to fucking achieve your goals and Be there for humanity and for yourself. Okay. I said my piece. Thanks for listening. Dragonfly Wisdom. Like, share, subscribe. Please pass it on to friends. Because the only way for me to get this message to as many people as possible is for us to send it out there. I'm not profiting at all. I don't even, readings, I don't even, I've never made a cent. But that's not the point. The point is kindness, love, save humanity, save the earth. Okay, take care of each other. It takes a village. There's a lot of village idiots. I don't want anyone to go through Anything painful. Your birthright is to be happy and joyous. Please don't end anything before the miracle happens. I believe in a miracle. I've seen miracles. I know. I care. Dragonfly wisdom. Peace out.